Hi, I'm Mayor David Black and welcome to City Happenings. While not officially here, winter has arrived. We've experienced plowable snow a couple of times already. We'll hear from Public Works on plowing strategy. And our Public Works crews not only have to deal with snow this time of year, but they also have to maintain everything else. We'll take you to a recent water main break. And Christmas celebrations continue around town as Trinity Village held its annual event for its residents. Please enjoy City Happenings for the week of December 20th. Thanks, Mayor Black. Our Public Works Department has already run its snow plows. They're ready if we get a big storm. Residents need to be patient when it comes to getting your street cleared because there is a process to all of this. We try to get the secondaries and the main roads open first. So then we break, then we branch off into our residentials. We've got four zones. Now we, now we have five zones since we added Glenwood Hills. Glenwood Hills will have its own we have a 4x4 four four tractor that we're going to be sending over there, so once he's done in that area, he'll continue to work his way to the north and pick up other residential areas and try to help out. But uh, we're, we're trying to, you know, we, we try to minimize the number of lane miles that each truck has so that we're, we're uh, trying to get everything accomplished in the time frame and that we're not singling out one neighborhood over the other neighborhood. But from the, when the snow stops falling, our goal is to have the, the streets cleared, treated, and the plows back in the barn within eight hours after that. We have approximately 240 lane miles that we maintain within the city. And with that, we have roughly 16 to 17 pieces of equipment that we put out there. We have our eight larger trucks, and they're basically assigned certain areas. We have one that just basically is assigned to Highway 370. Yeah, that's our major thoroughfare through the community and we maintain that means that's state highway within our jurisdiction. There's more for public works to care about than just plowing snow. This time of year, water main breaks increase, but many times it's difficult to figure out why. You try to be able to pinpoint what caused the break, but there's just uh, it, it, it's tough to pinpoint because it's underground and, and that and you try to look back at the circumstances, you know, the pressures that we were pushing through the pipe that day and, and temperature and just the season. But normally most of our breaks in Papillion do occur late fall, early winter just because of the ground shifting from the frost and that. Our guys step up in, in these type of emergencies, be it water main breaks, sewer plugs, snow removal operations any type of an emergency situations, they're there, they're given 110, 115%. Gonna get the job, you know, gonna tackle the job, get her done, get water restored to these customers. Uh, you find that with all utilities and that, but you know, the guys do take pride when it comes to situation like this. If they're there, they're gonna give the 110%, get in there and get the job done and get the water restored. And, move on. For our first step, once we identify that we do have a main break, we've got to call underground hotline and to get all the other utilities underground located, gas, power, uh, cable, Cox cable, all of those things located so before we can dig, we've got to get clearance from them. During the nights, weekends and that, some of those locates, you know, they we're not getting locates for up to two hours. If they're on other emergencies and they only got one guy located on weekend, it could take two, two and a half hours before we get to locate. So we're basically sitting there with our hands tied until we get clearance. Everywhere you go in Papillion, Christmas is exploding. Our friends at Trinity Village went head first into the holiday festivities. Christmas Around the Village is an event that integrates independent living residents with assisted living residents. Throughout the community, we have live entertainment, great food, opportunity to register for door prizes, but it's getting the residents down hallways and into areas where they don't normally go on a day-to-day -day basis. Plus, we're all decked out for Christmas. It is all about the residents. Everything we do, the bottom line, is the folks that live with us. And so it doesn't matter if everything isn't perfect. We've been decorating for 10 days. And no, everything's not perfect. And yes, it gets a little bit hairy towards the end when you're planning a big event like this, but the bottom line is for the residents, what are they going to enjoy? 
I can see already this afternoon, we're only about 20 minutes into this event, that we have more residents attending, going from area to area, and also outside guests who have heard about this event and are now coming in to, to tour, to stroll around Trinity Village. Um, we have a vocalist. We have storytelling by Cowboy Dave. Santa's here. Everyone's making their list and checking it twice. And there's an opportunity to have their photo taken with Santa as well. And then at, in a little bit, Dickens carolers are going to arrive in costume and sing for an hour. And so we're thinking that's going to be just so meaningful to our residents to be able to come together and share that time um, as a community, within a community. I want to send Merry Christmas greetings from everyone at City Hall. It's a great time of year and we're blessed to be living in America and especially to be living in Papillion. Thank you to all of you who make Papillion such a great place to live. And once again, we urge you to come downtown and enjoy the holiday lights on Washington Street, as well as near the City Hall and Sump Library. And we also want to ask that you support Papillion businesses when shopping or looking for a place to eat. We thank you for making Papillion the number three best place to live in America. And please attend our City Council meetings. They're held the first and third Tuesday of each month. If you can't make it to the Council meetings, you can watch the replays right here on Papio Vision Channel 18. Now, for more about Papillion, go to www.papillion.org or just call the Mayor's Hotline at 827-1111. Thanks for watching.